a range of cognitive studies about trying to understand how a gambler thinks. You know, one of the more interesting uh, studies that's come out recently is from Cambridge, by basically showing that near misses um, actually have this ability to trick our brain into thinking that we've won something. So the question always is, well, why does a gambler keep playing when they keep losing? And, and really what happens is when you sort of see a, a typical slot machine and you see two cherries and a lemon, uh, we know it's a loss. But it's kind of close to a win. It's, it's a little bit different from one cherry, one lemon, and a, you know, a can of tuna. I mean, it's, it's got this sort of quality that's close. And I think that it taps um, a developmental process in all of us, which is we've always been taught that if we get close to doing really well, that what we need to do is work harder. So if you get an A- in school, the goal is, well, maybe next time now you'll get an A. It's close to what you want to get. And, and, and that sort of cognitive training that we have, this idea that we have control when we're close to something, it's great, an A minus is better than a B, so we can be excited, and we just need to work a little harder. It's the same cognitive process that seems to be at work in a gambling addicted brain when they see two apples and a lemon or whatever the, the near miss phenomenon is. But they, they tell themselves, this is great, it's essentially a win, if I just work a little harder, I'll get the money. And, and so it's, it's a distortion that really does make sense in some sort of developmental way of why a, a gambler keeps working at that. And then there's been some you know, new research showing that the same parts of the brain that get excited on a win light up to a little lesser degree when the gamblers are presented with those near misses. And what that makes is a very difficult sort of cognitive sort of distortion to have to kind of address in therapy.